This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Uh, All right, right, I'm ready, man. All right, man. Pete and Sebastian Show. We are back live in Los Angeles. Pete has come out. We haven't done this in a while. We were supposed to do this, I think, about a month ago. I came down with COVID. Uh, So we are... um, It's a rainy day here. It is... uh, The Pineapple Express is back. I don't know if you were aware of that, what we went through a couple weeks ago. But based on the weather outside, you guys might be sleeping here tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm just down the hill, so at the the very least, I'll slide down a banana leaf. (laughs) And like Jewel of the Nile. Oh, there's a reference if you ever saw that old <laughs> Michael Douglas classic. But uh, yeah, I'm just right at the bottom of the hill in a nice hotel. I might be plugging by the end of my stay here. It's that nice. I love this hotel. Um, I got I got to do something because I'm getting nervous. What's I'm up, sorry. What's up, what's up, this up. is in the way. Guy, that's an armed Air Force mug given to me by a member of the U.S. Air Force. You ask before you touch that mug. <laughs> All right, guy, you don't even, this ain't no fucking, you know, uh, Waffle House mug. All right. <clears throat> Did you pack your own mug? You know what? I told you, cast listeners are sending me their mugs. One girl's an aspiring country singer. I don't even know if you noticed it. She sent me a mug with a picture on it. I, 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 put, I put that out. I drank out of that one cast. So I did a show. I forget. I think it was in Omaha a couple of weeks ago. And a couple of the U.S. service members, man and woman in the Air Force, they say, listen, on the base, big fans, gave me a mug. And they want, you know, I didn't say it, but I know when people give me the coffee mug, they know because I'm a drink out of it. So I knew we weren't going to be doing shows from home. So, yeah, I travel. And I had a show in Detroit and I had a show in uh, Pittsburgh before this. So I traveled to two cities with the with the Air Force mug, would take it out, lay it on a bed, keep it nice, make sure it didn't ship just so I could get to L.A., and USA. <laughs> do you? Well, is it bubble wrap? Do you put it in a sock? How do you? How do you travel with a mug? Uh, I wrapped it in my workout shorts. <laughs> As I'm wrapping up, because I ha- I haven't worked out till I got here, so they were clean the whole way. But then I put it in my workout shorts and and do the roll. <laughs> and stuff in it, and then I put a sock in it oh, for even wow. more cushion. <laughs> clean the- <laughs> Bro, no no spot wasted. When I pack my sneakers, I put socks in the sneakers. Do you do that? That's space right there. I just started doing that. Yeah. I saw that move on Instagram. I'm like, why? Why am I putting my socks separate? Why don't we just uh, use the shoe as a uh, as as like almost a drawer for the sock? It's absolutely. Okay, that's funny. I was I was waiting to save this, but now that we're on shoes, I got to get your take on this because I was at the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. we went on the Rich Eisen show, mm-hmm. and I said, "How how old is too old?" To I, be I, wearing I saw that clip. Air, Air Jordans. Yes, right? and I wore the Jordans today. Uh-huh. I see that. Just Baby. for reference, all right. I'm fifty. Right. right? Yeah. Now, <laughs> bro, is this right? I can't do this. What? No. <laughs> not only can you not do that, we were downstairs. I had just gotten here. Yeah. Haven't seen you face to face in a while. Yeah. Having some nice conversation, uh, making coffee, and then we'll go, you like, let's go do it. We're coming up to do the show. As you be- rounding the bend, I just catch a glimpse of that sneaker, mm. and it just tainted a whole initial yeah. Y- me. Yeah, like, I don't even know what is going on with that. Yeah. I'm wearing a boot. You see what I came in? I came in cheesy tennis sneakers because of the rain. Switched over to the cool boot. Let's see. Let's see what the boot. Right, yeah, yeah, no. See, this is more. That's of a, how I travel too. I mean, I'm dying. I can barely stand in the airport, <laughs> but I look so much fucking cooler than every other man there. I agree. <laughs> I love a boot at yeah. this age, mm-hmm. right? I think it's sophisticated, and a lot of people disagreed with me that there's an age limit when it comes to wearing Jordans. Now I feel. Listen, I feel, I almost want to say, if you're gray, if you're gray anywhere in your hair, mm-hmm. Jordans are out. Yeah. Right? yeah. Or, or is it an age thing? Why did it hit you so in the face when I okay. bend, bend, came around the bend with the, the Jordans? The colors. The, the, red, color. the red bottom, the just the colors. It's too much color. I'm not saying, like, if, if he makes a nice tennis sneaker a casual tennis sneaker and it just has the air jordan logo on the side that's fine but the original 
Bro, I mean, mm. you may as well be wearing those half tops you used to wear. No, no that's no, from the eighties too. No, but, I, you know why? You, you, I agree. Oh. I'm, I'm I'm not trying to promote this. I'm just wearing them mm -hmm. for reference. Right. I haven't worn these, but once, and even when I did wear them, I'm like, what am I right. doing? But you are a fan. You're from Chicago, and so I feel almost like a man who grew up during Jordan's playing days, living in Chicago, can at maybe mow the lawn with him on the weekends. <laughs> No, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. He's from Chicago. Yeah, I, I'll give you that. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I, I don't like them. First of all, the most uncomfortable shoe I've ever worn in my life. Really? I don't know if they've like updated the, and I don't know how the shoe world works. Right. Bro, you're an influencer now, so be careful with your words, bro. You literally, they just they just slowed the conveyor belt down a notch that makes the sneak. And they're like, oh, you heard him slow it down. Demand is down. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. No, the, the amount of, uh, bro, the amount of nice arm movement going on over there. It's just, it's just, uh, I see it happening. Uh, it's almost like I mean, envision the, the, the coffee going all over the, over, all over the place. I feel, bro, yeah, yeah. that you're so, like... Amped up right now. <laughs> then we gotta like, we gotta like fucking bring These it fucking down. Guys, the show starts at nine. They're picking me up. They they text me. We'll be there at seven oh five. I wrote back. Jesus Christ, guys! <laughs> Shall we make it seven fifteen? Meet me at the at the Whole Foods parking lot. I'll be getting breakfast. Still plant based. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's get into that. So, yeah. how do you feel any different? I mean, honest to God, what look at me! I'm bouncing <laughs> off the walls, bro. <laughs> I, mean, I thought it was the coffee. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. I mean, listen. First of all, I want to go on record saying, like, I'm not like not gonna ever eat meat again. I mean, I had a pepperoni pizza the other day where I picked off the pepperoni. Um, you know, and I was like tough. I wanted it, but um. You know, uh, but the other day, I will say, like, yesterday, I did have a craving for the first time where I'm like, I felt like my body needed a cold cut sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> my body was saying, was it fucking any turkey around here, <laughs> ham and Swiss would be fantastic right now, you know? So this isn't long term, but, you know, now Jackie's doing it too, so... The other day, she had a rough go. She had no choices, so she sends me. She had, the, again, she was somewhere where she had the wedding ball soup, I think it was like Wegmans, and she shows me the cup on the picture because I'm on the road. The cup is empty, but just the meatballs are still there. Oh, oh my God. And then I'm showing her my uh, salad from uh, Panera has like a salad with avocado and stuff. So we, we're taking pictures of uh, Ooh, vegan wow. food. This is this how it gets? <laughs> <laughs> This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, oh, my God. Is this where the relationship God. goes? But I'm not, honest to God. Yeah. No, it, but I'm not eating well, bro. Because the other day I was like in on the road again in the morning at the airport, and I went to the Dunkin' Donuts, and I was like, Do you, can I get the bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel without bacon? And the guy's like, yeah, we make them fresh. Well, no bacon will be on it. So, you know, I'm not like getting a, you know, yogurt. Or I'm not eating like particularly awesome. But, yeah, no, I do feel better. Um, all right. I don't know. I just got a physical waiting for the for the test results. If he's like your cholesterol went up, I'm gonna bite into the side of the fucking next cow I see. Is <laughs> 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 none of it matters. So when he went into the physical, yeah, were you concerned at all? Like, hey, you know, I think maybe this might be off. That might not. Do Do you tell the doctor before they even examine you right. what's wrong, or do you want the doctor to find it? Well, wow, it's funny. I think we talked about this last time. But my doctor, you go in, if you talk too much about other things in your physical, then it, even though I have great insurance and it doesn't matter to me, I just get burned by it. I, I see it's billed on my thing. Well, like, if you talk more? Yeah. If I, if, I, if I go in there and go plus my shoulder, then I'll get a charge for physical and a charge for dealing with the shoulder. I'm like, because I brought the shoulder rub? Isn't that the whole point of physical? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I should be allowed to bring up everything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right? This is a la, that's an a la carte physical? I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> It's the, oh my god, this show's skyrocketing to number one <laughs> if we keep doing these face to face. Yeah, bro, it is. It's like ordering hors d'oeuvres, you know? So you have to actually make a conscious effort going, eh, you know, my eyeball is, or whatever. Let, let's right. say let let's say you go, I have a heart palpitation yeah. in your head. 
Right. But you go, is it that? Is it worthy enough for the extra charge? You have to. Are you? I you have you, to you, decide because I. The, basically, the way I'm starting to understand it is the time it takes him to give me a normal physical, like like while he's like you know doing this or whatever, I can go. But my heart's feeling weird, you know, and like so. But if, if but if he has to stop, take any extra time. The deal with the heart, tick, the clock is ticking now. The fire, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so man. you got it. I try to fit it in. So I hit him with, I, I so I prioritize. So while he was doing the regular stuff, plus, and I said this before, bro, it is so overbearing getting that finger up the ass every year. Oh, oh my man, God. Bro, I mean, I can't sleep the, the night morning, before, bro. bro. I can't sleep the night before. And you know what he said to me this time? Because uh, he asked me about my back. And then, but when he asks me about something, I feel like that's free because you're asking. <laughs> all right. I'm not, I don't know if you're asking, right? So I'm like, no, since you sent me to the therapist, my back has been great. Knock on wood and stretching. So then he goes, all right, bend over, put your pants down, bend over. We all know what's going, right? So I got to do this, right? I got to get up and step on the thing and I get like this. Oh, I go like oh this. God, bro. And I go, mm. oh. And he's over here putting his gloves on. So as I go, oh, he goes, God, oh, your back's that bad? And I go, no, no, I'm just grunting because of what's coming. You know? <laughs> and as he puts the gloves on, he turns around on the stool. He goes, hey, you know, it's not our favorite test either. He said it almost like, give me a little empathy, you know? Like, I didn't even finish my coffee. You think I want my finger up your ass either? Yeah, but I don't. And then he said, one of my best friends, his test came up negative, but I did this on him and I found the polyp that eventually saved his life. And all I thought when he told me that, I was like... Your best friend lets you stick your finger oh, up his ass. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know you didn't do it at the golf course on the nine hole, but my point is, I think I go to somebody else other than my best friend for my exam. Absolutely. I mean, I, come on. Come after, on. after you do that, you have to abolish the friendship. I, Absolutely. I, I, I mean, I have a fucking lunch with you. Your finger was up my ass, guys. It's just. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I don't like the whole, it's not my favorite part either, right. because right. it's kind of like part of the, you know, I mean, you, you knew what you were getting into prior to going into this profession. So right. this is kind of part of the, part of the job. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Even if it isn't your favorite part, right. we, we shouldn't be exchanging right. that the information at the, at the physical. Well, I, I, I didn't take it that way. I took it as if, you know, I wouldn't do it if it wasn't really necessary. Yeah. And I know it sucks for you, but you know. But yeah, 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 you know, I do wonder that if you have five physicals a day as a doctor, do you wake up and go, oh, five times, up and out, up and out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you, oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's, a yeah, yeah. Hole, it's a rabbit hole, bro. It's a rabbit hole. So, uh, but I told him I wanted to bring up real quick my psoriasis, and he said, he checked it, and he's like, you don't have a psoriasis. He's like, he's got really dry skin. And in the summer, in the winter time where we live, we have, you know, what's called forced air. So he told me a special lotion to use, told me to get a humidifier. And we just paid Jackie and I for this new big water system. Culligan man, Culligan man, <laughs> coming to the house, set me up. What? I brought my water's like, I may as well live in Flint, Michigan, bro. Oh, drinking oh, water. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm drinking and softening. So I'm getting new drinking water. Well, I'll have my own fountain by the right by the side. And all my water is going to feel slippery now because it's going to be soft. Mm -hmm. So whatever I had, it's gone. All right. Oh, so yeah. it's not psoriasis. It's just extremely dry skin. Back is better. No psoriasis. Does, Jack, oh, just, oh, does Jackie? I'm, I'm fucking Benjamin Button over here. <laughs> <laughs> does Jackie apply to back lotion? Like uh, no. In the far reaches of my back... Now I've I've learned this when you I can sometimes only reach the far reaches with the back of my thumb. So I put lotion on the back of my hand, <laughs> do a whip around, and then do a windshield wiper. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Oh, and then when you come it. this way, it's like two wipers, they meet right there. So there's no spot. I mean, it takes some work, bro, but I got all, everything coming. She could divorce me and I'll still be able to massage my own moisture on my own back. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, right. so, right. <laughs> so, bro, we have so much to get into, man. Jesus. So you at the Super Bowl. I don't know. I mean, I saw you in those sweatpants and I didn't know it became a thing on social media because it caught me too. I was like, ooh, sweats at the bowl. And Jackie goes, 
Yeah, but they're probably like really expensive sweatpants. And like that begs the question, does that make it okay? No, it doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't okay. matter how expensive whatever the hell is. Mm -hmm. My my whole take was you're going to a football game, right? Mm -hmm. Super Bowl playoffs regardless of what it is. Yeah. I I don't know and I've not seen any photos of people at a football game dressed dressed up. I, I haven't seen that. No, at a real game, no. Okay. Not, I mean, not so a regular the, season. Okay, and, and I'm looking all around me. Right. There's people with jerseys on, hats, paint on their face. So all of a sudden we're at the Super Bowl, and now uh -huh. what? You got to put on slacks? Now, I'm yeah. sitting yeah. in Gen Pop. I ain't uh -huh. sitting in no fucking suite. Right. I'm with the, the people. <laughs> right. right? With, with the people. Which is either people of your ilk or people that drain their life savings to come see to come see the chief. Come see the chief. No, I mean, if you're in a suite, that's one thing. And if you're with the if you're with like right, like if you're out in the bowl, right? Yeah, you're sitting in a in a folding chair, right? There's popcorn and shit on the floor. What the, what am I gonna bring, wear a fucking Ferragamo I, to the Super Bowl? It's, bro, <laughs> it's so much more than a football game. You've been there before. It's a corporate event. No, it, it doesn't, doesn't you matter. You dress accordingly. No, I, I, come on. I, I, I disagree. If you were there, all right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you would you would have saw. Oh, okay. This is still a football game. Right. It's not like you're eating. I mean, it's not, bro. bro you go. I mean, you go. I've been to football game. Have you ever been to a football game where Usher came out at halftime? It's not a regular football game. The 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 surroundings or what's going on might be different mm -hmm. than a normal foot game, football game. But the experience mm -hmm. sitting in a it's right. not like they brought in new chairs no. for the Super Bowl. Yeah. And there's popcorn and M&Ms. Right. You know, it's not I like they're you. bringing in yeah. caviar and strip steak. No, I know. I so, would, yeah. Fucking sweatpants. <laughs> they probably did have caviar, by the way. but And, and <sighs> maybe they did in the suite. Uh, <laughs> I was told that to get in and out of that stadium because there is logistically really no easy way to do it that you're going to be doing a lot of walking so i ain't wearing a boot i ain't wearing jeans i ain't, right, I, ain't right, I, right. I, I want to be available <laughs> right. to move at any given time right. right so that's where the sweatpants came in yeah it's interesting now there's, there's, <laughs> there's two schools of thought with that yeah. there's a school of thought you wear sneakers and sweats to be able to move and run if necessary and be able Right, but if you wear jeans and boots, you're not gonna have to run. You can. It's just you'd be so intimidating that no one's gonna fuck with you. You know, I see. I see a man. In, if I was a robber and I saw a guy in sneakers and sweats, or I saw a guy in boots and jeans, I'm I'm messing with the guy in sneakers and sweats. Oh no, I'm not. Really? No, I'm I'm messing with the guy who has limited mobility. Lim a guy with limited mobility means he ain't afraid. He don't have to run. I want to go after the guy who's going to, you know, run, rabbit, run. Okay, would you rather fight a guy in a button-up sh shirt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or a guy with a shirt off already? A uh, button-up shirt. You don't fight the guy with the... You, you're, you're more scared of the button-up guy than with the guy with a shirt off already? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I'd fight the guy with the button-up shirt before I'd fight the guy with the shirt off already because he's already crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're right. The more comfortable you are... Oh, that's the a good The more willing point. you are to fight. Like, oh, fuck, this guy's got sweatpants. He don't care about shit if his sweatpants get a hole in it. I'm thinking the guy with the button up and the, the boots, he's gonna, he's gonna, he ain't going to fight because he's worried yeah. about scuffing up the but outfit. I'm, I'm talking about, like, and we've all seen this, me and you, from flying so much. Ever see the, the traveler who's like a guy who's like half the time he's getting dirty, but when, when someone has to go talk to headquarters, they send Billy and like he's got the cowboy boots and his nice as clean as jeans and the caught hard jacket. He don't he don't fly often, but he's got you know. Yeah, and, yeah. and you could tell he's wearing them boots because that's all he ever wears is those boots, <laughs> right? <laughs> that like that kind of guy that works in in fifteen degree weather with no gloves. That's that's the kind of guy I see as I'm talking about. But yeah, no, I hear you. you got a good point. Yeah. Then you get those Italian guys that always wear sweats, and then they turns out they know all that. Jiu-jitsu shit and uh Tiny sweatpants that throw that right. throw the head off. I, but listen, I'm not looking to get into a fight. I know you're talking about walking. I'm talking about just moving from point A to point B. Did you regret it when you got there? 
No. You didn't start to regret it when you looked around? I looked around, I saw slobs. Don't you feel though, in front of other men, sweats is borderline pajamas, guy. I always felt like that. It's mm, borderline, you're out in your pajamas. No, I, no? I, I didn't I didn't even think, to be honest with you, I didn't even think about, you should have saw what I had on. I was going to wear, <laughs> Jesus. I had black pants on with a black leather boot and a sweater, bro. I looked like I was going to a PTA meeting. Oh, well, I had that on, and I looked at myself. That, going, going that sounds Bowl. cool. What do you mean, black pants, black sweater? Uh, no, it was, it was actually a, a blue, a blue sweater. Yeah, it was blue, bro. It, it no, huh? it's a fine line, right? You can't wear Jordans. Uh huh. No, right? You, and then on the on the flip side, you can't wear something that's maybe ages you too much so i thought the sweatpant look with the denim jacket was just like a casual hey i'm going to watch a football game look mm -hmm. i don't care super bowl or not though if you would have seen the people there it, it, yeah yeah people are t paying twenty five thousand dollars for a ticket but their outfits worth you know yeah a hundred. It, 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 it don't off, matter. Off, off air, if you don't mind, I want to get your pant size. I'm going to send you a pair. I'm going to get you a pair. And what color do you like in pants? I'm going to get you one of these pants that looks like a jean, but if someone touches you, they're like, God, it's like sweats, but they won't know if they don't touch you. Where did you find this? Did you find this on Instagram? Is this something? No, like, believe it or not, uh, some... Uh, uh, well, I can say. Uh, <laughs> well, well, uh, <laughs> why is this a secret? I don't know why. It's, I guess it's not. But like, if someone if someone is buying those pants, don't they not want people to know that they're not really a jean? Isn't that the whole point of them? So it's a jean sweat. It's yeah. It's like it's like as comfortable as sweatpants, and but they're elastic and they look exactly like jeans unless you touch them. Mm -hmm. See, for me. Mm -hmm. When I hear these types of products, like, oh, wear the button-up shirt, and it's like the 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 tuck, uh, what, what is it? Untuck. Un untuck. Uh, untuck uh, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or jean right. it, but not it. <laughs> right. I ain't. <laughs> I ain't doing it. I saw a shoe the other day. You can put it right on the running water and it don't even get wet. You know, like it looked like a, you know something an Indian would wear across the stream. I swear to God, but you know, it, I, like who's doing that? You know, but anyway, I hear what you're saying, man. I do the untuck it though. I almost pulled the trigger on that a few times, man. Yeah, I, I it might be a great product, but I don't like anybody fucking with clothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. Just like this is it. You know, right. like what are you trying to do? Like reinvent the talk in the. The, the, what what is the shirt? What, what is it? You could leave it out, but it looks what? Like Good. If you take That's a normal awful. dress shirt and you untuck it, it's yeah. way too long and baggy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they cut it so that it looks more desirable when untucked. Yeah. Okay, but you know the problem with that is what, you got to in order to pull the the and it's called untuck it. Mm -hmm. Okay. In order to pull off untuck it, yeah, you got to have like a, a a physique like you. Where it just like if you got a if you got a fat roll yeah and you got an untuck it yeah you look yeah. like a you look like bro you need to tuck it by the way <laughs> so I don't know if we can get up here there is a shirt now out there that if you do have a fat roll this thing's amazing you put that on it's like pregnant no I'm not it's unbelievable <laughs> I mean I feel bad for the lady that unpeels that fucking avocado when they get to bed but up until that point it's unbelievable man it's like a girdle that no one knows you got going it's almost it's like when women were stuffing their bra, right? right. Like, oh wow, look at look at she's yeah. well endowed, and then yeah, she takes out the socks, right. and you're like, what the fuck is it? So, what about you, Johnson? Have you ever heard of a guy in your all, life? I don't know. I never heard of a guy <laughs> still referring it to as as a Johnson. <laughs> Bro, I, I do these meet and greets. I got fourteen year olds coming up to me. I don't. I mean, I, you know, I, let's, well, that's young a, kids. That's all weird. right, you talking about Johnson? I got fourteen year old. What is what does that have to do with anything? All right, your, your penis. Okay, have you ever known anybody in your I life? Do, let's talk about this. <laughs> How do you refer? I don't want to say the D word. I just it's classless. So, so you don't think dick cock. is? I'd rather hear cock Ooh, than God, dick. That's like oh, that's like a, a fucking porno, bro. <laughs> bro, this <laughs> <laughs> fucking guy, you can't win with him. <laughs>
<laughs> too hot, too cold. I know. I'm just asking, oh, like, what, what's the porridge? Pro- Which porridge? Tell me what <laughs> bowl of porridge I should be using. Yeah. What's what's the proper <laughs> reference to the male genitalia? And again, I'll go back to the whole theme of the day. Is it age appropriate? So if you're 21, right. you're 21 year old kid, you go, man, fuck, my cock's burning. Or, <laughs> or if you're 50, do you say, oh, you know, my, my or, or does it? 50 year old man in the locker room, he says, dick. I'm like, what are you, a flasher? It's disgusting. <laughs> it's like a peeping dick. Tom nastiness. Nah. My dick is burning. Ew. No, I got my dick caught in my zipper. I'd rather have I, a guy I, go, God damn, my Johnson's been burning all months. I, 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 I love I, that. I love that. Oh, hey, it's from World War II. <laughs> but but, but pe- I think penis is more medical. Like, I do too. Like if you're in the doctor's office, you know, my, my, my penis is chafed or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> But I think in general conversation okay. amongst men, yeah. I think I think yeah, my yeah, my my somebody hit me in the dick, you know. Oh, oh. god, I just somebody hit me down there. Then why do we even have to say it? Why can't we just be like I got you know where it counts? I've done that too. Oh yeah, I mean you could say it like that. I I just I don't know. I feel like dick seems to be the it is the it go, is the I mean, go to is. here. To like you know. But anyway, I've never known anybody to pack anything down there. That's like that's like a, no. a myth, right? No. Don't know I, I don't know. Put I don't a know. Sock down there is ridiculous. <laughs> no, I I don't know anybody that's done that either. Yeah, and I've never met a woman that's like, oh, he, I fell in love with him because I saw his bulge in his pants across the yeah. room. I'm like, oh god, <laughs> <laughs> save that for the wedding speech. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stick on the Super Bowl, though. Absolutely, bro. We should. I want to stick unbelievable, on the Super Bowl. unbelievable. More people watch that than anything in the history of the world. Yeah. More people saw you in sweats. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about everything. I'm dying to hear it all. I'll stop interrupting. Well, I, I, I got the tickets. Yeah. Uh, How, and the shows, by the way. I saw the Watt Brothers came. Freaking guys are awesome. You look like a ballet dancer in between them two, which made me feel better. No, no. I, I, you know, you ever think you're bigger than you are? Yes. Right before that photo. I thought I was like, oh, okay, I'm like a decent-sized guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then I was around them, and I saw the photo, and I was like, ah, I'm a child. Dude. <laughs> it made me realize I'm not even as big as the kicker. Right, because I've seen the kicking next to Watt, and even he's bigger than that. I know, you like, are a child. Well, you're. You bring up a great point. The punter and the, and the kicker. When I see them on, on TV, I go, "Okay, that's that's me." Right. If I was in a helmet, that's what I would look like. Right. No, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't look that that no. way. These guys are are, are giants. Yeah. Who and, else came to the show? Because um, there's so many stars in town. So, so um, I met Sean Payton. He was the quarterback. <laughs> Or not the quarterback. He's, yeah, he was a quarterback. Coach of the Saints. Coach what is he Saint. now? Do, is he Denver? Back, he's back at Denver now, Denver. right? So he came back. Really, got, really nice guy. Um, who else was there? I met Wally Johnson, New York Jets owner. He came back. Woody oh, Johnson. Woody. Sorry. Yeah. Woody Johnson. Wow, man. Um, that's pretty damn cool meeting Woody. Yeah, I mean he's part of the Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. Empire. Oh, they so. got spanked during COVID, man. Couldn't give that shit away in the end. They made a vaccine too. Nobody wanted. Oh, it. Remember that, man? Right. Tried to, yeah, they I tried forgot. to send it to Haiti. They didn't even want it to Haiti. It fucking waving the helicopters away. <laughs> we'll take our chances for- chewing on tree bark. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot they made one. I know. Bro. Even now, like I had eye drops recently because trying to get the red out, and I'm like these things, and then notice it said Johnson and Johnson, and like. It's a tainted company. In my head, I'm like, it's fucking tap water. <laughs> <laughs> so they took a hit, man. Uh, <laughs> Why do you think we stuck with Zach Wilson this year when uh, Rogers went down? He's like, I'm tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's buying Johnson & Johnson products. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they thought they were going to have vaccine money. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. God, man, we have vaccine money. Oh, man. We'd have freaking, uh, we'd have Josh Allen backing up Mahomes if we had that vaccine money. <laughs> so, oh, God. 
That must have been amazing, though. Like, uh, all right, so did you meet Woody, by the way? Yeah, man, he came back. His whole family came back. Oh, awesome, um, man. I mean, there's so many little so bits cool. and pieces I want to get into, yeah. but I want to stick at, actually at the Super Bowl. Oh. I, want, I want to tell you my experience there. I got the tickets, Verizon. I did something for Verizon, and in, in the deal were, were four tickets in their section, right? Now... I'm looking around, right, and there's a box above me, right, and I'm not a necessarily a box guy, mm -hmm. but the what the box allows you is like alcohol and food and beverage, just sure. in, in the suite, right? Yeah, All right. a lot of conveniences, convenience. But you know, and I think Stern did this. Like Stern did a, you, you kind of know where you are on the hierarchy of celebrity when you go to a game or you go to these things right because mm -hmm. i'm sitting there like i'm like all right i got a great seat i'm 15th row i'm on the aisle it's a nice great seat 45 yard line you couldn't ask for a better seat right. so the whole game right but then you start looking up in the box and going oh, fuck is it? Who's, in the, who's in the box right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah and how do they get there right 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 so i'm looking it's uh jimmy kimmel's in the box right Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh guy guy fieri the, the okay. big big i like guy big fan of guy ocho cinco chad, chad johnson all right football ex football always gets they should always be allowed in any box if you ever played in the nfl for over five years you should be allowed to you walk in box. any sky box any stadium anytime put a, really, put I was a watching. button on, on that i want to i want to uh, i want to get into that okay. ex football players this is another thing i want to get into cool. uh and then uh, Wayne Newton just didn't know he was still alive. So double, <laughs> double, like not only is that cool, but glad to hear he's still with us. National treasure. Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton, Mr. Las Vegas. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I listen, burn the box. I, I, I necessarily have, don't have a problem with any of these people being in a box. Right. <laughs> Who am I? Right. 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 Well, I don't know the way you said Wayne Newton. It sounded like no, you had no, a little no, bit of a no, no, no. You didn't said, go. You I didn't said, go. Wayne Newton. You went Wayne Newton. No, I said Wayne Newton because and I didn't know it came off any anyway. Right. I just thought like Wayne Newton would just automatically. Now, there. Let, let's take Wayne Newton for example. Does Wayne Newton call his people and go? I'd like to go to the Super Bowl. Or is Wayne Newton invited by the NFL right, right. to come to the Super Bowl? Let's ask the bigger question. Did Wayne Newton even know he was at the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what do you think this guy like just finished a morning jog and made a call? Can I get a box? <laughs> Fucking guy. How old is he? I uh, mean, like I, I said. He's gotta be 80. I'm I'm going 82 on Wayne. 82 Newton. at least. Yeah. At least, man. I mean, I think Tony Bennett used to open for Wayne Newton, just to put this in perspective. <laughs> Wayne Newton's 81. 81 years old. Oh, 81. Okay. Which right. I thought he was. Oh, younger well, than I thought. Yeah, he. All right. So he's there. All right. And, and here, here's the um, here's the other one. Right. Carrot Top was in the box. Now. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm sitting there going, well, look at Wayne Newton's face. I know what they chatted about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you guys are good too. Do we go to the same guy? <laughs> <laughs> if you if you do a split screen between Carrot Top and Wayne Newton, uh, uh, yeah. we, we could maybe get a visual on what what <laughs> if there. <laughs> oh yeah, here, here. there's the, there's the both, but they, they look go. like young. Carrot Top looks young there. So anyway, well, of course he does, bro. He just got a recent stretch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's carrot top. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Ready? My age, 50, 30, 50, 30. 30. No, I'm thinking that's 80. <laughs> when you go back, this is, this we're talking. Look at this. You got to rid of that right there. Yeah, you see a little did, lift, nah, just a little did, lift and move, and no one will know. It, it's a it's a delicate road when you start doing yeah. this type of stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, that's that, what that's what I'm saying though. That's what they. Well, I mean, like, if you're gonna do that, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. It's got to be so subtle that people think you're tan. 
You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh wow, you like, would you go on vacation? Right. That's that's the that's the reaction you want from that. You don't want right. you get in an accident. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I would want, and I don't even know if she had one. That's how good this is. I'm not. I I don't know if she had one, but if she had one, I would want Meryl Streep's person. Because she's just aging so perfectly, gracefully, and wonderful that either she's got a perfect person or she's just doing good skin products the whole way through. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know if she had any work done. Let's let's throw this up. I here. saw a photo I, of her this and is Cher even... at the Grammys next face to face. Oh man, took two different roads. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it, once you get into that, like I got to start doing plastic surgery phase. Now this is this is this is not even this is like young Newton, and I think I think Wayne that's Newton's two thousand three. That's so. got to be Wayne Wayne Newton's still at the Stardust Hotel at this at this in this photo, and 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 Carrot Top just probably got his his residency. But anyway, it was such a, an eclectic group of people. Yeah, yeah. Up I don't want to take you off right? track. I want to hear about all this. Um, but then I start to ask the question, like, how do people get to that point in in, in the? Uh, yeah, there was one photo. Well, you know, it goes also too, bro, with the because uh, I was watching Super Bowl and they're showing famous people, and I said to Jackie, "Oh, I wonder if we're gonna see Sebastian." And then she said, "When we didn't see you, she goes, oh, maybe they're gonna show more later.' Because, like, I mean, what do you gotta do?" You got five, five sold out garden shows. You did the movie. You got the show, hit show on Bookie. I mean, like, I, I just, but yeah, it is like the, the fame of the fame is there. Everyone but Tom Cruise is there. Everybody but Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt. Just, uh, get the, can you get this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, guy, yes. yeah, guy. <laughs> Was this the Carrot Top show? Oh, yeah. like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what do you, he thinks he's like waiting for his flight at the fucking gate looking at his computer by himself. <laughs> I'm doing a show here, bro. God. So, uh, Tom Cruise is so big, mm -hmm. he might have been there. And they didn't, you know, like he might have said, listen, I want to go to the Super Bowl, but please don't put oh, me up on the show. Oh, well, that's yeah. true. That's true. DiCaprio was there and he had, he could care less. He was in his phone with the hat, the whole thing. But my question is, if you're at a sporting event and the camera comes to you, how do you do you do a or how do you you know right, behave right. like right. taylor swift did a shot of beer some people if we want to get into that we'll get into that uh, it's, 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 <laughs> that's a show in and of itself that poor girl is like she just I don't even think she likes to sleep, Mike, because that's two minutes that people aren't looking at her. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, God, I just this uh, is such. A, all right, let's not focus on that. What What would you do? I think there's what's an the people. Uh, this is the camera. Uh, all right, the camera. Okay. Uh, you're at You're at a game. I can't tell you what it is, but I can tell you it should be an attempt at humor because that's what I do for a living. Okay. I'm not saying if you're a singer, you should sing. But I, I think you should stay on brand. Okay. If you're a cool actor, you know, you know, you're just gonna go like that, you know. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, maybe I'd fake make out with my wife if she was with me, you know. Maybe I pull the chain out, do something like that. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, give me a little laugh. I was like, Venus. Ah. You know, what am I gonna do? Just do my Cary Grant? Come on. I don't know. I'm asking. Uh, uh, I'm asking. What do you do? I I have I have I've seen it on you. I have done like a face to the camera, like a goofy face. <laughs> oh, bro, that's way worse. <laughs> that's I don't think it is because I I think I kind of didn't give you a lot of props for your look, and now this is retaliation. It's but but because there's a level of cool in you, okay? That's like yeah. that's that's just that's, that's you're not clown show kind of comedy. No, but I'm like you know. Hey, <laughs> no, no, man, I'm thinking next time you should do it like you're annoyed, like a little like, like like, yeah, yeah, like, like. hilarious, bro. <laughs> 
Dude, oh, isn't that great? great? That's, that's that great. Good. That's I like great. It. Yeah. We're going to do that next yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck yeah. Word. yeah. Yeah. It's not enough I'm here. It's not enough I'm here. The fuck it. Yeah, yeah, but Sean Penn it, bro. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that that is supposed to be funny, right? Yes. But do you think it could be misconstrued? Because, you know, I think a lot of times when, right. again, this, in my life, right. I've never been popular. Right. Never been a popular kid at school. Uh-huh. Never ate lunch alone. Mm hmm. Always on the fringe. Right. Never been in the group where it's like, oh, like right. he's with the football team, or right. oh, right. Right. I'm going to prom with the cheerleader. Okay, never. So you basically mean amongst your peers because you know you're quite popular. Well, I mean, like, uh, like I've never been in the group uh-huh. of popularity, whether it be school, Hollywood, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. always on the fringe of it. Right. Okay, so. I don't even know where the hell I was going. You, but I listen, and I'm sorry to act like I know you, like I'm married to you or something, but I feel like, <clears throat> if I may say, I feel like you don't want to do that stuff. You don't want to go to those parties. You don't want to be in that box, but you want to be asked. I want to be asked. You know what? <laughs> you make a good point. Maybe it's the invitation yeah. that I'm that I'm like, eh, it would be nice uh. Nice to be decline. Right. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what? what I'm saying. I mean, you've had DiCaprio in your backyard uh, sipping Mai Tais together. Did you ever call him again and go want to hang out again? Maybe he's like, that's how you get in that. You keep in touch. I did. Oh, well, yeah. Then you're, you're out, guys. I'm out. Uh, I'm not in the cabal. Uh, I'm not in the group. Uh, well, and I'm we always get- there for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and not that I'm looking to be. I'm not, it's not like I'm looking to be See, in the group. Nobody cares about that's what you you know that right. We're all laughing, we're having fun, but you, you're plenty loved, right? I'm not saying I'm. I'm, I'm, right. I'm just here. I'll give you an example. You hear this, Wayne Newton? Are you listening? <laughs> Call this guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the look when the camera's on you, bro. <laughs> Pretend they just asked you if you want to hang out with Wayne Newton. <laughs> Yeah, but seriously, man. So you, you know, come on. Did, did we talk about the the comedians' party? I don't even know where we left off. You had mentioned that on the phone, but not to the cast. Not to oh, the, okay. So yeah, even in that. So you know, there was a, a party I went to with a ton of comedians, and it was uh, Netflix was having a party for their comedians that were nominated for a Grammy. Okay. Uh-huh. <sighs> And Lana and I went, mm-hmm. and Lana's like trying to coax me to go, go talk to, go talk to them. You know, yeah. I'm with my wife. I, talk, right. I go, I'm talking to you. Right. <laughs> you know, right, right. She, but that's yeah, but that's a, 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 a excuse though you're making because you know you're like. You you are a little like I don't know what the word is, but you don't go up and open up Why, like that. We, we, if you were at a party right. and you saw comedians that you knew but didn't know, mm-hmm. g- g- I'll give you an example. Bill Hader, mm-hmm. I've never met him. Mm-hmm. We just started talking mm-hmm. organically. It was just like you know I, I know Ali Wong, and they're together. So I started talking alley and then Lana, and it just kind of happened it wasn't like an effort where i went hi how you guys doing I, I i i don't do that right right it just happened bill Hader and i and this is this is the beauty of and this goes out to the comedians out there when you're hanging out with other comedians he had the floor right mm-hmm. he, had, he had a story he was telling and i wasn't trying to add to the story i was just absorbing the story mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i noticed when comedians get around one another there's a lot of like trying to add yeah, yeah. to just let the guy right. go i was having a ball i felt like i was getting a private show from bill Hader. right yeah. there's a couple other people there that kept interjecting that weren't that weren't comedians if you're not a comedian Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a comedian is telling a funny story. Mm-hmm. Don't fucking bother. Just, just, just. I know I you're know. good, bro. Just I listen. Mean, to put that in perspective, if like Mick Jagger just started singing an acoustic ballad, mm-hmm. 
Are you going to join in on the chorus? <laughs> of course not. Yeah. So don't add to this story either. <laughs> right, right. I mean, you can, of course, you know. Even, even, I'm even in the school of if, if someone's got the floor, let them have the floor. Right. And just enjoy it. Well, we don't gotta like you know, like yeah, you could add obviously here or there, but like this guy was making me laugh, and I was, you know, what I was doing, I was at, I was asking questions mm -hmm. to promote more humor, mm -hmm. right, right, right. So that in that instance, so calculated, <laughs> must be exhausting. <laughs> It's just all so calculated. Well, you it's calculated. I'm like, like I'm, I'm like I'm not interjecting, but I'm giving stuff to keep it going. I mean, yeah. What are you doing? Morning radio with the guy? No, I was okay. having such a good time laughing that I wanted uh -huh. I, selfishly. I right. wanted to laugh more, right? And I knew this guy was hot, uh huh. And I wanted to give him more, more ammo all for right. like uh, to I, make me laugh. All right. It just seems like it just seems like it's an exhausting process if that's all was going through your head with just just this one person. It wasn't going through my head. Organically, I'm reflecting back oh, on okay. it. Okay, all right. And going, this is okay. what happened. It's not like I was sitting there going, "Okay, ask this guy more questions." This is I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did this come about organically, and why can't you emulate that again? <laughs> Make a note of that word. <laughs> why can't you do emulate that again with the next guy in the room, with the next female comedian in the room? Well, well because it, some of that's just 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 happens. What Lana wanted me to do. It was when Lana and I were kind of off to the side. Mm -hmm. uh, she was like, go talk to... So Nick Kroll was there. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if you go back just eight years, I got a Nick Kroll story. That's I got season three on the cast. Love it. On the plane. When you say season three, are you sure it's season three? Or are you just saying no, I just do around. a quick, eh, probably about three years into the cast, okay. season three. Okay, okay. Love, yeah, I, I was it. sitting there going, this guy got a photographic memory. See, I don't want to interrupt because I want to hear this Nick Kroll, but I do want to put this in perspective. I was talking to somebody recently in a green room, and I said, man, not so much my daughter because she's like seeing it and hearing me, and she's alive. I go, but can you imagine like my grandson that I'll probably never know being like, 30 years old and he's married and he's like his wife's like oh what are you doing with this you know the summer you got some downtime i'm, I'm gonna sit i'm gonna drink some beers on the porch and i'm gonna listen to my grandfather's podcast and really get to know what my oh. grand i mean would you not if your great grandfather had a morning radio show or something and they had a bunch of old tapes would you not over some red wine <laughs> get to know the man you never knew that's a great point. I don't even know if anybody's even thinking that far ahead, but there's basically a catalog of our life for the last, what, 10 years yeah. that could be tapped into from future generations of our family, right? 100%. And when you said you'll never know your granddaughter or grandson, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I almost shed a tear because isn't that sad it is sad but i can't focus on that i'm running out of time i gotta <laughs> be happy while i can but to my great great grandson out there listening if you're living your life one third of the way i live mine you, you're doing all right if you're not if you're not though don't even and by the way don't don't buy this vegan thing fucking eat meat <laughs> <laughs> now just that alone that little segment alone right, right? right, right let's right. fast forward i don't know 50 60 years from now dude Someone says, do you know your grandfather did a shout out oh. to his unborn grandkid in episode 598, whatever it is? And they're like, what? He did? Oh, man. And he's going to go back, play that 50, 60 years from now. He go, wow. Oh, my grandfather. Man. That's something. Oh, my God. <laughs> and could you imagine your great grandson listening to this bit right now and knowing you didn't do a shout out? <laughs> You just let it go. Just let it go. I, I let you have the floor. It's your moment. You're my Bill Hader. Here. Uh, oh, uh, bro, this is fun together. But anyway, so yeah, that time years ago, Nick Kroll was sitting right next to you in a first class flight. Uh, he's a funny guy and he's done stuff and you're a funny guy. And you've done stuff and you didn't even say hello to him because you just didn't know how to open up, right? Well, I didn't say hello because I was, yeah, I had the, the headphones on. He got in the seat and then I'm like, oh, should I say hello? And by the time I decided it was time to stay, say hello, I thought it was too weird because a lot of time went by 
Right. And then he would have looked at me and go, you're saying hello now? We've been sitting at each other right. for the next last 35 minutes, right? right? Yeah, yeah. But he didn't say hello to me either, so I don't know what the hell he was thinking. Right, right, right. Maybe he didn't know who the hell I was. I don't right. know. Right, so, right, right, right. But, I mean, that would have been a great thing to open up with him. I was going to tell him this story. He was talking to us, and I, I, this was calculated. I was in the back of my head as he was talking, going, mm, this would be a great time to tell the Nick Crow story. <laughs> Because I wanted to know if he knew or he had any recollection of that flight. Right. So, and I had it. And then also I was like, oh, I have to go back. This this is how sick I am. I go, I don't know if I should tell this story because I don't even know if I remember it correctly. And I, I said, I got to go back and review yeah. the cast, hear the story. And then the next time I see him, I'll tell it because it's right. fresh in my mind. Right. So that's that's what was going through my wow. head while Nick Kroll was talking. I didn't hear a word he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, one good thing about you is you, I, I mean, geez, I don't think you ever said anything about anybody on the cast that if they heard it years later, they'd be mad at you. You're always pretty, you know... Uh, cool about all that you know with me there'd be some people if they offered me like a writing job or something for show sure, i'm like lou look back did i bad about that in person at any point yeah so anyway you didn't you you did get to talking to him i talked to yeah I, yeah I talked now what to about the bowl after the bowl did you go to one of these parties you and lana this is after we went to a small i wouldn't say intimate but a nice dinner Mario Carbone had a had a dinner party kind of at his restaurant. Uh -huh. and about I don't know, I say about forty people at a long table, uh, and it was nice. It was it was it was Ooh. it was really I mean, great food, of great course, conversation. Yeah. I was there with some music people. They were talking about you know the music business. So yeah, it wasn't one of these. I did go to a quote unquote after party at one of after one of my shows, and I'm I'm, I'm sorry I. I don't belong at all right. at a nightclub uh -huh. after party. Right. I don't know why people do this. Uh -huh. I can understand if you're younger. I get it. Right. You know, I did it when I was younger, but I didn't even like it then. Right. But just to go and like loud, you know, right. I, my, my, the way I talk doesn't right. work right. in loud environments. It just doesn't. Well, it's out. so fascinating, though. It's like a lot of that stuff, you know, is about, you know, the stuff you don't enjoy doing. Like, so you want to be invited. Like I said, you want to be invited to these things and then pass on it. But you want to have been invited. Yeah. But like, what else is there to do? Like at, at, at 1230 at night mm -hmm. in Las Vegas, it's not like people are... It's not like I'm going to go, hey, guys, do you want to get like a small, intimate dinner at one o'clock in the morning? This is what people are doing in Las Vegas. Right. They're going out to a party or a nightclub. Right. I just don't work well with like talking. You ever have to talk to somebody so close? You're like, this yeah, ain't, this, nothing. You're not getting anything effective. Out. Nothing effective. No but even at the skybox, when the camera comes to the skybox, they want you on the edge, like Blake Lively going, ah, you know, doing something like that. By the way, the way she was behaving. Did you see Blake Lively hanging out with Taylor Swift? At the, at the, I, I didn't. I, I was at the if game. I was Ryan Reynolds. I would have called her halfway through the game and said, uh, don't even come home. We're getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, just the love in the limelight too much. And that's what they want. These people... DiCaprio is about the only guy cool enough to hat down, goatee, and we just want more, more, more. Everybody else, like, they do a hard lean into it. You don't, you're not doing a hard lean into it, bro. So. I, I, I like DiCaprio's approach. He's, like, just doing what he would normally be doing. I know. And. I know, but, bro, like, you know. Do you think he's he knows 72 Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. The guy's known in the, you know, he can walk through the jungle and they're going to want to do a selfie. <laughs> That's, uh, by the way, uh, jungle fame. I'll save it for bro, the day. Bro, is, yeah. it, is, that, is, that, is that the epitome of fame when you could walk in, in like in the Senegal right. through a jungle and see a guy with a spear and, and he goes, Leonardo. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. That, yes. Uh, I want to save this probably for the next cast. But when you were there, because, bro, you know, and I'm not just saying this because you're my friend. I mean, you're making movies and TV. I was even like, you know, you know, I, I, the seat is one thing, but like they're not showing everybody famous. I mean, they really do 
Does the camera head camera guy say, listen, unless they're a borderline legend, no famous people shots, right? Yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't know the cutoff that you like. Right. Do, do they go, uh, Sebastian Mascalco is here, and the guy goes, who? Right. It and has to be goes, someone. Yeah, right, not, next. No, we're doing whole world knows. Whole world knows. <laughs> <laughs> if we were at the San Gennaro Fest, yeah, but world, no. Right. Uh, or or the, do you think they want, he's, 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 Sebastian Mascalco's here, and that guy goes, he got sweats on? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that, that, could, that could have been a deal breaker. <laughs> That's a good point, too. But So I Googled, and we were talking about it, um, most famous people in the world, in the world. And we'll play that on the next cast. It's an interesting list. Uh, um, I'm curious to see how many you can guess before we show it to you. Okay. All right. That's a good yeah. game. So uh, so we're going to continue this conversation next week. There's so much to cover here. We ran out of time. But uh, good to have Pete here in Los Angeles. It is a, fun. It is a, uh, a, a packed week of guests and fun, fun podcasts. So uh, tune in next week. Pete and Sebastian show. Yeah.